Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today I'm going to talk about HTML images. Let's get started, shall we? I've made a folder called Adding Images, which is open here in VS Code. There's not much going on in it yet. I just have a simple H1 tag in there saying images. So let's talk a little bit about images. We can embed an image into our web page by using an IMG tag, which is just an image tag. We simply link images into our web pages. So this IMG tag, it creates a holding place for the referenced image. The IMG tag is a self-closing empty tag that has a few attributes, meaning it doesn't have an opening and closing tag, like let's say our H1 does or our body element does and so on. It's more like our meta tag, which is a self-closing tag. You must define the source and the alt attribute for an image. And the source, which is written as SRC, it tells us the path to the image. And then there's something called the alt, which is alternative text. And this alt tag tells us the alternative text for the image, which is great for accessibility. Meaning if a page doesn't load, then the alt tag appears in the browser. And for those visually impaired who can't see the image, can read the alt text to know what the image represents. All right, so normally in coding, you're going to either have an image that you've either taken yourself or a designer or photographer has taken for you, or you're gonna look for a loyalty-free image online. So let's go ahead and practice doing that together. So I'm gonna open a new tab in my browser and we're gonna look for, let's say, Pixabay. And there's many places you can go. There's Unsplash, Pixabay, uh, Pexels. Uh, actually, let's start with Unsplash. So here on Unsplash, I can search for photos. And as you can see, I've already searched for some other ones before. So let's just select Rubber Duck. And when you click on Rubber Duck, you will see a whole bunch of photos come up. And I actually like the second photo here. I'm going to click on the share icon, which will give me the link to Unsplash and to this particular image. So I can copy that. And then let's go back to images and let's create our first image tag. And the way it's done is we have our angle bracket, IMG, and then we close it itself with a forward slash and then the greater than symbol. So this is a self-closing image tag. And now inside here, we have some attributes. So our most important one is the source. And this tells us where the image is coming from. So here I'm going to paste the link that I got from the Rubber Duck web browser, which was here. And I'm gonna put that link in here. now. Something to note with Unsplash, we have to remove this photos forward slash and we have to add a prefix before Unsplash and we have to write the word source dot and that's the only way to get the image to work. Pexels and Pixabay and other sites that are loyalty free, usually you don't have to worry about those. The link is just whatever you see, but Unsplash is a bit different. All right, so our next most important attribute is the alternative text, the alt attribute. And here we're going to set this alt attribute to rubber duck, since this image represents a rubber duck. Now when I save it, you can see it's really large. So something else we can and ideally should add is either the width or the height attribute. So I'm going to set the width equal to 200 pixels. And here you can see I've actually made the image a lot smaller and now we can see it in the web page. Pixabay is another great resource for free images. So let's navigate to that web page next. And here, let's also search for rubber duck. Oh, I like the scuba diving duck. Okay, let's open this image. And then instead of the free download, let's right click on the image and say open image in new tab. And now we can copy this URL from the browser and paste it here in the source attribute. And then for alt text, I'm just going to say it's a scuba duck. And let's have a look at our images tab. Now, once again, the image is really large. So let's set its width to something different. Width equals 300 pixels. And now you can see we have this little narrower image on the left, followed by this slightly wider image on the right. Images will be stacked next to one another unless there's no room or you add a line break. So right now, if I added a third image, it would automatically go down below because there's no room and the right side of the browser has kind of run out. Another way we can do this is by simply having a line break, which is done with a simple BR tag like so. We can also display an image in the browser that's locally stored inside of our project folder. So we don't always need to source to an external website. 
Now I have a picture of my rubber duck named Tim um, and I'm going to drag that photo into this particular folder here. And here you go, I have Tim in here and it's just a JPEG. And ideally we'd store images in their own folder, but I haven't really covered folder structure and like how to link to deeper folders yet. So for now, I'm just gonna have it sit loosely right next to this index.html file. Okay, so let's go back into our index.html and let's target that image. So again, I'm going to say IMG with a self-closing tag and I'll give it a source attribute. And now all I'm going to do is because Tim is sitting right next to this index file, I can simply copy this Tim.jpg and reference it. And of course, when I save it, it's really huge. Um, so let's practice something different this time. Instead of the width, let's practice its height. And this time I'll set the height to, let's say 300. Perfect. Now, let's say I type something wrong in here. Like let's say I'm missing the word Tim and I save it. We don't see the alternative text because I forgot to write the alt tag. So let's go back in and add the alt tag, Tim the duck. So now you can see if the image is missing, Tim the duck shows up here in the browser. So at least the user can see, okay, there was meant to be an image of Tim the duck. However, it's not loading. All right, let's put Tim back in there. Perfect. And now you've learned how to add images to your HTML document. It's really just that simple. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. If you have, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of my lessons. Until next week, keep on coding.